From bars in Montreal to St. John's, the scenes of crowds shoulder to shoulder are sparking concern among health officials. I think uh, young people in general uh, think that they're invincible. But data shows they're not. Take Alberta. Over the past two weeks, people under the age of 40 made up 57% of new cases. This is a reminder that COVID-19 can spread quickly and cases can rise rapidly if we don't all do our part. In Ontario, over the same period, the under 40 age group accounted for just over 50% of new cases. There are the individuals who are getting infected at work, but then to the people who, you know, they're waiting in line at the patio. As more indoor bars prepare to reopen in parts of the country, closed spaces with prolonged exposure are raising concerns among officials about the potential for spread if people get too relaxed with the rules. What do they serve in bars? It's alcohol, right? And, and as we all know, after one or two drinks, uh, people might feel uh, less inhibited. This nurse and contact tracer is seeing another troubling trend in the emergency department. A lot of party issues again. Um, you know, we're back to having frequent overdoses. A sign, she says, that things are returning to the status quo. And while some people may think they're following the rules by socializing in small groups... They're going to have multiple gatherings of eight people in a confined space. That just is a logistical nightmare in terms of keeping track of who's been exposed to who. In Quebec, that nightmare already played out. About 30 cases of COVID-19 have been linked to nine bars. You know, there is a lot of bars in Montreal, and sometimes people go from one bar to another bar. Today, officials said that situation is now under control, but the risk remains if celebrating reopening isn't done responsibly. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.